I Love My Hair, written by Natasha Anastasia Tarpley, illustrated by E.B. Lewis. Now, the person it's written by is the person who wrote all the words, and the person who is illustrated by is the person who drew all the pictures. Every night before I go to bed, Mama combs my hair. I sit between her knees, resting my elbows on her thighs like pillows. Mama is always gentle. She rubs coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair. But sometimes it still hurts. When Mama gets to especially tangled places, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing my hands together until they're red. But a few tears always manage to squeeze out. Mama, stop! I cry when I can't stand the comb, tugging at my hair any longer. Mama puts the comb down and rubs my hurting places. Then she leans in close to me, like she has a big secret to tell. Do you know why you're so lucky to have this head of hair, Kiana? She asks. I shake my head no. Because it's beautiful, and you can wear it in any style you choose. I can spin your hair into fine, soft yarn, just like our grandmothers did at their spinning wheels, and weave it into a puffy little bun. Or... I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp, the way we plant seeds in our garden. Then wait and watch for them to grow. In the morning, before we walk to the store, Mama adds colorful beads to the ends of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me remember what we're going to buy. Tap, tap, clicky, clacky, milk, bread, peanut butter. Folks on the street look at me and smile as I dance along to the tap, tap, clicky, clacky music my hair makes just for me. Some days, I just let my hair be free to do what it wants, to go any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. This is my Afro style. Once, when I wore it, the kids at school teased me. My head felt heavy, and I let it hang down low. But my teacher made me feel better. She said that when she was growing up, folks counted their hair as a blessing. Wearing an afro was a way for them to stand up for what they believed, and to let the world know that they were proud of who they were and where they came from. I love my hair, because it is thick as a forest, soft as cotton candy, and curly as a vine winding upward, reaching the sky and climbing toward outer space. Today, I'm wearing it in my favorite style of all, two ponytails that stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air like a pair of wings. One of these days, I might just take off and fly. The End